It is a world of fire and of ice. A tea kettle land. Boiling steam and belly deep snow. Sands as hot as a sauna. Air as cold as 60 below. Only the strong and the stubborn survive. A fellow by the name of John Coulter was the first man to tell the world about Yellowstone. He was a mountain man who came west with Lewis and Clark and stayed on to hunt and trap. One day, after seven years and a particularly close call with a band of Indians who wanted to make him bald before his time, Coulter announced that he would leave the great Yellowstone land forever. He jumped into his canoe and paddled all the way to St. Louis without stopping. 2,000 miles in one month. Nobody back east believed his fancy tales of hot springs and boiling mud. Folks thought there might be a crystal heaven somewhere out in the west. But if there were a hell, they said, it was Coulter's hell. Well, even today, few people have seen this great Yellowstone land in winter, when hell freezes over. The waters that flow through Yellowstone are rivers of life. Heated by runoff and steam, they melt the snow and provide a foggy grocery store for the animals who huddle close. Into this silent world comes a figure somehow oddly out of place, moving carefully through the massive dark shapes, alone. For 20 years, Wolfgang Baer has traveled the world for Walt Disney and National Geographic showing us a side of nature we seldom see. It still fascinates me uh, after 20 years. There's still a lot that I can discover, that I can uh, portray in on film. Wolfgang Bayer lives just outside the park. For the past two winters, he has hiked its two million acres, recording life in the snow. I'm at home here. I don't have to travel uh, clear across the world. I, I can find what I'm looking for right here in my backyard. Patience is his most important tool. He has been known to wait two weeks for just the right shot. Okay, I'm rolling. And action. Sometimes patience is best served at home. Ready? Not all his wildlife photography is done in the wild. Okay, I'm rolling. Wolfgang's and wife action. and children help him build uh, elaborate sets for close-up work. There was minding my own business, filming uh, coyotes, and I thought I was in a pretty good position, hiding behind the tree, bending over the camera as I usually do, when all of a sudden I felt this very sharp pain in my butt. And I turned around and a coyote actually snuck up on me, bit me, and took off again. Two million people watch Old Faithful erupt in summer. In winter, it shares the dawn with an elk. All his concern about survival, feeding, he could care less what's behind him, the scenic the splendor. All faithful going off is nothing to him. Wolfgang is recording a world the tourist seldom sees. Small bugs, called brine flies, live just an inch above the boiling water. They dive into the whirling froth, protected by a bubble of air, to feed on the algae. Go too low, they boil. Fly too high, they freeze. They live out their lives in an inch of space. There are about a million different kinds of animals in the world. Wolfgang has filmed 200. Someone once asked him if he ever tired of this great task. He said, I just take pictures. They are everything I love. I leave nothing but footsteps.